a sport not known too well for its controversy, golf was brought to the limelight after Kevin Na chose to resign in order to avoid repercussions from the LIV Golf Series. Today, we're going to explore the reasons that led to the decision. Let's dive right into the video. First up, Na's resignation announcement. Kevin Na has enjoyed considerable success in his career as a five-time PGA Tour champion. He revealed recently that he has resigned from the tour in order to avoid potential sanctions and or legal action as a result of his participation in the rival LIV Golf in Invitational Series. On social media, Na, who is rated 33rd overall in the world in the sport, announced his resignation to finally let the cat out of the bag and dispel any rumors that may have been brewing. Na is said to be the first PGA Tour player to resign due to the Tour's stance against players competing in the rival series. This is sure to have a ripple effect on the sport of golf as a whole. Perhaps competitor series can come together to reach a solution so that players don't have to pick one over the other out of fear. Na, the 19-year PGA Tour veteran, emphasized this point as well and said he wanted the freedom to play wherever he chose and that exercising his privilege as a free agent allows him to do just that. A pretty bold take by the player, but he understood well what walking this path would mean for him. He accepted that, despite his wishes, in order to remain a PGA Tour player, he had no choice and had to relinquish his right to make these career decisions. He gave fans and critics some insight into what the alternative would have been if he'd gone down another route. He said that if he were to exercise his right to select where and when he plays golf, then he'll be subject to PGA Tour disciplinary action in addition to legal action if he continued without taking the decision. Next, Na's feelings following the resignation. He was incredibly regretful of the decision, contrary to what one may assume, and made sure to add that comment in his public message. He told fans that he spent a considerable amount of time with the thought, and that when he finally had made his mind up, it wasn't an easy decision to make, and it was definitely not made lightly. Keeping his regret and frustration around the situation aside, he had some hope for the sport moving forward, with a dream in mind. He was hopeful that the existing policies will change, and that one day, somehow, he'll be able to make his triumphant return to the PGA Tour once more. Na, 38, is one of 13 PGA Tour players set to compete in the first LIV Golf Event Series, which will be underway very soon at the Centurion Club located in the south of London. Other players who will be competing in the event include the likes of Dustin Johnson, Ian Poulter, Lee Westwood, Louis Oosthuizen, and even Sergio Garcia. The athletes are sure to put on a show for spectators in what is set to be an infamous event. And now, PGA's warning. The PGA Tour denied some of the conflicting event releases for players who wanted to play in the London tournament, which is held, coincidentally, alongside the RBC Canadian Open on the 11th of May. According to ESPN, PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan told players' agents during the Memorial Tournament held in Dublin, Ohio, that players had to pick between the PGA Tour and the LIV Golf Series, and that they couldn't do both. We're sure if we were a fly on the wall that day in the players' rooms, we would definitely see some sparks flying. Monahan had previously warned players that if they competed in a conflicting tournament without first obtaining a release from the PGA, they'd face penalties, such as fines, suspensions, and or even lengthy bans. Keeping all this in mind, it goes without saying that Na clearly made an informed decision considering what lengths the PGA went to retain players. Some would even go so far as to consider those intimidation tactics on their part. Next, Na's career outlook following the move. During the entirety of his tour career, Na has managed to earn around a whopping sum of $38 million, a figure that comes as a surprise to many casual viewers of the sport who have little to no clue about player earnings. In 12 stars on tour this season, he has achieved six finishes in the top 25 positions, including a tie for 14th place back at the Masters and another tie for 23rd at the PGA Championship. Na took the opportunity during his public statement to bring attention to his next performance and encourage viewers to please keep an eye out for LIV Golf for the time being. The athlete is clearly looking forward to putting on a show for fans, and after this media frenzy, he's caught himself in the middle of, guess it's safe to say that any publicity is good publicity since people are talking about golf again. He talked about his hopes for LIV and described it as a fascinating new product, with high hopes that viewers get the opportunity to just enjoy the excitement it generates in the golf world as a whole. Na stated that he was excited to start the next phase of his career when he finally arrived in London at the inaugural LIV Invitational Series event. While it's unclear whether his relationship with the PGA can ever be mended, currently it appears that things are beyond repair for the two parties involved. Acknowledging that this time isn't going to be an easy one in his career, he called on his fans who he hopes will continue to back him up so he can put this part of his life behind him finally. This is a bittersweet ending, of course, but fans are overjoyed to know for a fact that it means that Na will not be facing any legal or disciplinary punishment as a result of his decision to part ways. Now, in other news, LIV announced broadcast team. Because the league has yet to acquire a broadcast television deal, it's currently planning to stream LIV events on online platforms, such as Facebook and YouTube. They announced the voices that we'll be hearing behind the screen when the event
event goes live too. Arlo White, a longtime Premier League lead voice, will be the lead commentator for the series. The 49-year-old British broadcaster, who is also the voice of the Emmy Award-winning Apple TV show Ted Lasso, has no prior experience calling golf, so this is definitely an interesting choice. He'll be joined by a staff of analysts that includes Jerry Foltz, the long-standing LPGA analyst for the Golf Channel, who left the network shortly before the U.S. Women's Open recently. Don Boulet, who is a former pro-turned-analyst on the Asian Tour, will join them in the booth as well. Of course, reporters include former Long Drive champion Troy Mullins and former pro Sue Ann Hang, which will be a welcome sight for passionate fans of the sport. Next, Woods declines offer. Greg Norman revealed a very hot piece of news in a Washington Post profile recently. The LIV Series CEO told The Post in an interview that the 15-time major champion turned down an enormous offer to participate in the event. Surely, this would have put a lot of additional eyes on the ground and got people talking. The tour's strategists also pitched agents who represent Woods and who had once attempted his own public coup with the PGA Tour for marketing reasons, according to the Post story. Seeing as how he attempted parting ways once, he seemed to be an ideal candidate, since you'd have to part ways with the PGA to compete in LIV in the first place. Woods reportedly turned down an offer that was, according to sources, mind-bogglingly enormous. To give a little hint, we're talking high nine figures, which you can let your imagination run wild around. Woods stated on Tuesday that he wouldn't be competing in the U.S. Open next week, stating that his body actually needs more quality time to grow stronger for major championship golf before he competes again. Up next, Dustin Johnson paid to flip sides. According to The Telegraph in the UK, Johnson was offered around 100 million pounds to join LIV Golf. LIV is essentially an upstart golf league financed by the Saudi government and fronted by Greg Norman, which is attempting to upset the PGA Tour and the golf space as a whole. There are a lot of big sums on the table being handed out to incentivize players to make a change in allegiances. Jack Nicklaus, the golfing superstar, reportedly revealed that he was offered somewhere in excess of a whopping $100 million to lead the entire league. Norman was eventually cast to play that part. One of Johnson's main sponsors, the Royal Bank of Canada, has broken connections with him following this situation, saying it's extremely dissatisfied with his decision to compete in the circuit. Mickelson also chastised the PGA Tour for its obnoxious level of greed in not distributing money to golfers and was hit with what amounted to a several-month-long shadow ban from the tour following the comments he made. That's a wrap for this video. How do you feel about Nas' decision to leave? Do you think the PGA is being too authoritative regarding this matter? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.